Hi everybody, it's Don from Don's Family Vacations and I have a subscriber who's looking at taking a trip off to the Serenade of the Seas by Royal Caribbean and they're wondering if the ship's any good, is it large enough to go on, is there too many kids, is all kinds of things. So I thought I'd take a quick look and make a new video because I haven't basically talked about the Radiance class ships in quite a while. So let's take a close look at the Serenade of the Seas coming up right after this. So first off, basically the ship is around 900 feet long. It has, holds about 2,400 passengers and it was made in 2003. So we're looking at 14 year old ship now. It has undergone refurbishments and everything. So it's not as dated as you might think. One thing about the Radiance class ships that make them a little special is the views. And the reason it has such good views is in the design of the Radiance class ships, they've designed three acres of glass facing the ocean, including glass elevators open to the ocean, which if you've never done on the ship is kind of nerve wracking and beautiful all at the same time. So in almost all the public areas, you'll notice in the photos when we start showing them, there's just views, uh, a whole wall of windows or a whole wall of uh, windows skylights. It's just, it makes it much easier to see your destinations when you're going. You don't have to have necessarily a balcony cabin because you can see views almost anywhere on the ship. Now a lot of people look and they're going to compare ships like the Oasis of the Seas pictured here beside the Serenade of the Seas. And yeah, there's a huge difference in the size of the ship, but you got to remember the Oasis class ships are the largest in the world. Does that mean that these ships won't hold your interest? Well, you're not going to have bumper cars and skating rinks, and you're not going to have a 2000 person theater. You're not going to have two flow riders and a big aqua performance on the back. You're going to have more of a standard cruise ship sailing. Now that being said, on board there's 10 restaurants, so you're still going to get some of your favorites like the Windjammers Cafe, Izumi's, you're going to see Chops Grill, Giovanni's, so you're not going to miss out on any of the specialty dining that you're used to on other larger ships. The staterooms, while some of them are still seeming a little dated, they function, they're clean, they're well maintained. Um, the balconies on the Serenade of the Seas seem to be a little small than some of my other sailings on other ships, but um, it's a balcony and you uh, also the Serenade of the Seas is a lot cheaper than some of these other ships. So you get what you pay for when you're going on these ships. So a balcony is fine, but like I said, you don't necessarily need one on this ship because of all the views everywhere else. As far as leisure is concerned, well, you're going to have the casino, you're going to have the spa area. It has one adult only pool area that is uh, specifically no children or teenagers. You have to be over 18 to get on. And then they have three pools and three whirlpools. And you'll notice I said whirlpools. A lot of people would call them hot tubs, but if uh, you've been cruising any length of time, you realize that some ships don't necessarily heat up those whirlpools so you can't really call them hot tubs sometimes. It's also got other things to burn off some calories to work off that buffet if you want to. It's got a full-size basketball court. It's got a rock climbing wall for the kids and young at heart it's got a nine hole miniature golf on board so there's a lot of little things to do here and there. They have a, a movie theater. It's not my favorite movie theater on the ships because you can kind of see the screen is kind of off to one side so if you're sitting on the left hand side it's kind of an odd angle. So yeah I, I don't know why they designed it quite like that but it's a little annoying to me because I'm a huge movie guy and uh, yeah I just I just not a fan of this particular theater. Now while only holding 2400 passengers, the theater for that size is quite large. It holds 750 people and basically anywhere you sit you can get a pretty darn good view. The shows are mostly homegrown and what I mean by that is Royal Caribbean, 
produced shows. You're not necessarily going to see too many like Broadway shows here. You're not going to see cats and things like that, but you're going to see some pretty good quality entertainment as those shows tend to rotate from ship to ship. So if it was on the Oasis of the Seas, it'll probably show up on the Serenade of the Seas with the same cast and crew as they kind of rotate between ships. Up by the main pool area, thanks to Princess Cruises, they have the standard 220 square foot movie screen up above where they'll show movies at night and they'll show sporting events and stuff like that on Sunday during football season. You can watch a football game up there. You don't necessarily have to go to one of the sports bars to see it. Speaking of bars, they have 16 different bars and lounges on board playing live music or sporting bars or just some place to dance uh, disco or something like that. Speaking of disco, they also have the Fuel Lounge which is only for teenagers, so no adults allowed, so your teens can get up and mingle with people their own age in a safe environment where there's no alcohol anywhere around, so you can feel a little more at ease letting your teenager go off on the ship if they're going to that particular disco. One of the truly spectacular things about the Serenade of the Seas is the atrium. It's a small ship, as we think, but it's got a nine story atrium. And it's really the hub of entertainment. Sometimes during the day, they serve some sandwiches and stuff like that at random times during the day. They'll have a coffee cart come out. They have live bands playing. Um, uh, during certain times, there's gonna be a live aerial show, like a Cirque du Soleil performance that, uh, that plays. And the atrium just fills up for these because people love them. And it is kind of, breathtaking to see these people hanging eight stories above the atrium and you can stand on the different levels and watch the show as you go. You don't necessarily have to be down on the ground. So the atrium really is spectacular on these ships. So there's just a quick look at the Radiance class, in particular the Serenade of the Seas. Uh, they're not the most glamorous, like it's not the flagship of Royal Caribbean but they're a quite nice ship. They're gonna give you more of that traditional cruising. Not a whole lot of gadgets, but there's enough to do to keep you occupied on ship days. Uh, ship days, sea days. So are they right for you? Well, also the ages that go on board really range because this ship can appeal to families and, and young adults and honeymooners and older cruisers because there's just a little bit of everything, but not everything. So take a look at it. Don't dismiss this size of ship because these ships are really good, particularly on holiday cruises and spring breaks. You can often get better prices on these ships than you can on the other ships. So the Serenade of the Seas, it's a great ship if that's the kind of cruise you're looking for. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more cruise videos, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.